So this question is um, involving shapes and uh, triangles and rectangles. Um, it talks about uh, the fact that that's true. So Jim is going to cover the shaded region with gravel and it's important information here. So 45 kilograms of gravel for one square meter. Now they mention the word square meter here so it uh, definitely tells us we're dealing with calculating areas so that we can work out the area of gravel needed. So expect to know some formulas. So area of a triangle is a half times the base length times the vertical height, the perpendicular height. So again for the standard triangle the height is always perpendicular to the base length. And the area of a rectangle base times vertical height, again we're just measured perpendicularly. So we've got a base length and the right angle and we measure the height. So we're going to use these two formulas then to work out the shaded area. So for the area of the triangle we've got a base length of 9, we've got a vertical height at right angles uh, perpendicularly at 8 and we're halving which means we divide it by 2. So 9 8 is 72, divide that by 2 is 36 square meters because we're dealing with meters, we're dealing with square meters as area for units. Um, so that's for the triangle. Um, for the rectangle, we're going to do 8 times the 2.5. Well, a quick way of doing that could be 8 times 2 is 16, and 8 times a half, well, that means to do a half of 8 is 4. So altogether, then the rectangle is 20 square meters. So the shaded area is going to be 36, subtract 20 is 16 square meters. Now it's saying that we need um, 45 kilograms for each square meter, so we're going to have to do 16 times 45. So 16 times 45, um, I'm probably going to do 16 times 20, 320, another 16 times 20 is 320, and then we need another 5 of those, so that will give us the 45 16s. So 16 times 5, 5 tens is 50, 5 6 is 30, so that's going to be 80. And when we add those together then, so we've got uh, 20 plus 80 is 100, plus 300 is 400, so 720. So the answer is going to be 720 kilograms. So key things, formulas for questions involving area. So know your formulas, area of a triangle, a half times the base times the height, where the height is measured perpendicularly and the area of a rectangle base times height. Work out the areas carefully and then do your sum to work out the amount of gravel for this particular question.